Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim, and this is a Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. So, me and AC did a video the other day of Reds versus Phillies. Something got screwed up technically, so we decided to, that AC really couldn't come over today. So we made. So I just am gonna make this Phillies Reds preview. So let's get into it. Key players for each team. I'm gonna go with the Reds first. I'm gonna go with Raul or not Raul Bonas. Uh, Araldis Chapman. Chapman is a big, strong lefty out of Cuba. Uh, he, he's a very good pitcher, but the problem is he throws fastballs, and he's going to be called on to pitch to guys like Abanez, Utley, and Howard. Um, he can throw up to 105 miles an hour, we've seen. I mean, obviously not every pitch. But I, I think if you bring him in against Abanez, yeah, he'll get him out. But Howard and Utley might be able to hit some stuff over 100, so he is going to have to mix in change-ups and breaking stuff if he intends on getting both of those guys out. Um, I do think he will be able to get these guys out, but for the Reds to win, this guy has to be a locked down 7th and 8th inning guy, lefty specialist. For the Phillies, it's Raul Banez. If he can hit two, you can mix him in with Howard, Utley, Worth. If he's hitting, they will win. That's what it comes down to. If Raul Banez hits, the Phillies will win. Um, I'm pretty confident in the starters for the Phillies. Uh, H2O, Holiday, Hamels, Oswald. And I'm pretty confident in Brad Ledge, who has been lights out Ledge again this second half of the season. So I really don't think there's a ton to worry about with them. That, that's what it comes down to for me. Uh, which crowd will be a bigger environment? I'm going to go with Philly. I mean, maybe they'll both be sold out. And the Reds have not had a playoff game in 15 years there. But the Phillies saw every game. The fans are used to coming there and selling out every game. The rally towels, when you get those things going, are just, it's an amazing sight. I'm going to go with Philly, and the thing is, the Phillies are used to selling out every game, so it's not really going to be different for them. And the, the Reds are going to have to adjust to it, not only in Philly, but in their home ballpark. They're not used to having person after person after person come to these games and cheer and expect great stuff out of them. The Phillies are, and they're used to going to other places and having that, considering they've been in the playoffs the last how many years. So, all this being said, I'm going to take the Phillies in this series in four. I think one of these three starters probably loses one of the first games. Uh, I, I don't know who. It really doesn't seem to matter because I think they will win in four. Whether that's Joe Bland pitching fourth game or Roy Halladay, I think they win. And I think the Phillies will play the Giants in that first round of the playoffs. I think they present a challenge for anyone in the National League with that pitching. And... You know, the Reds are a very good team. You got Votto, Brandon Phillips. But the thing is, you go through that lineup. You got Ryan Howard versus Joey Votto. Yeah, this year, statistically, you probably take Votto. But Howard's NLCS MVP last year. You got Phillips versus Utley. Yeah, this year, you probably take Phillips. But Utley has been here before. He's been in the playoffs before. And you saw what he did in the World Series last year. Chase Utley knows how to hit the ball. Uh, and, and I think that's what it comes down to. The Phillies have more experience than the Reds. And experience does matter, and as good as the Reds were, they were not good in the second half, and the Phillies just mowed in the second half. That's what it comes down to for me. Um, find me on Twitter, Cash Kelly NAC, Facebook, Cash Kelly NAC, Sports Report, YouTube, Mr. Kel Star, email me, Cash Kelly and AC at gmail.com. I am Tim. I'll catch you guys later.